The first use case is document digitization. Why is this important? Organizations are recognizing that they need to move towards digitizing their enterprise, right? But what does this mean? Is it just digitizing documentation, things like that? I would challenge you that we need to use it. Like I said in the past slides, that we actually need to ingest that information and do something intelligent with it. So what's the use of this? Well, it increases collaboration, increases control, increases security. The control is the piece that I would challenge you as well on. Okay, 45% of scanned documents are born digital. We're going around in circles, right? Well, by actually having this information in the enterprise, extracting the intelligence from it, you start to remove the need for people to actually take the documentation. We need a complete picture of our data nowadays. We either are going to use people or automation to do this. The AI is unbiased. The AI will pick out what's relevant in that informa the information from the document. Sorry, the AI does it in four seconds. That's a pretty good ratio, 3,000 to one. What can be done? The first step is to digitize that document, right? So like I've said, ingest it and store it. The next step is that we need to process that information. We need to use the AI to understand it. And then we need to action it. There's two steps to this. First thing is actually reading the document, whatever form it is, via OCR. The next piece is understanding it. So what I want, I want to share with you is how actually we have done this, how we have implemented the solution for one of our clients. We know documents digitization, OCR, is a very old technology, almost 20 years old. But there is a caveat here. The problem is that it works very well for the documents that are standard. But the problem is, what about your documents, your particular documents in your organization that have your special embedded knowledge on them? So actually, what using at the first stage, open source, the, grabbing the common knowledge of the community to having this pass these documents and digitalize, digitalize them, you already have a huge win. And in the late months, with all these developments of Tesseract, of TensorFlow, and all this community machine learning, has been, we have seen a dramatic increase in the quality. So right now, every kind of document you can tailor with your specific needs and your specific language. The next step is the combination with machine learning and also with deep learning. What the problem that we have is the shortcomings of the OCR, the defects that the human will say, OK, I can read the word, but if I can read the beginning and at the end of the word, I can actually understand it. We really can implement neural networks that will do exactly the same. Therefore, they will be able to classify the document, destruct the entities, and for that, by combination, building new knowledge to really handle these documents in what we call an intelligent way. So now that we've understood the document, what do we do? Well, a logical thing would be to file it, to categorize it. Part of that process is actually storing the relevant or the important information from that document. And what you're seeing up here is just the idea that actually if you extract that information, you put it into your intelligent store, you might go through an exercise, for, for instance, like repapering. You might have an ISDA. You might have some regulatory change that causes you to change that. So we can automate this. We started to say, OK, let's go to process 10,000 documents, 10,000 legal documents. Most of them, some of them, have one, over 1,000 pages. In average, we are talking about 150 pages of heavily scanned PDFs that really takes like, several seconds for each page on the browser to go in down. In less than two days, using the TensorFlow capabilities and the knowledge that is in the community with a very small team in a small development cluster, we're able to fully digitize them and start already to extract the information, to classify, and to prove that this will be a reliable process. Here, what I want to show you is the real case. You know, information goes streaming, goes where they want. So the, here, what we are simulating is you are receiving legal documents. Here. In this graphic here, you have the, in percentage, the effectiveness. 100% is perfect. The red line is when I tell you, how can I pick this document? H how many documents I have really identified? The blue one is, how can you trust me? When I say this document is of this type, this is you really, you can trust it. For sure, it is of this type. Of course, this is we're playing back the history. So when we go to the real people, they say, aha, that day, there was a bit a new type of document, a new type of legal complaint that we were, it was unheard of. And the system was 
didn't knew about it. So what the system will do automatically is when the ones that they are not confident, he will pull to a human. A human, little by little, very easily will correct, aha, is this one. The system was learning, recovering the new class, and at the beginning, you have, after a few interactions, already the same performance. You see here these green ones. These are the different classes of documents. Each class is another type of document. So here you see the appearance of a new type of documents until the system already was able to handle. And the question to me was, well, what's the difference between our rules-based system and an AI-based system? And this is the point. AI-based systems are things that learn, right? With little effort, you can actually make sure that they're continuously learning and adapting. With a rules-based system, that's hard to manage, right? So the main thing that you're going to be able to do is be flexible, that your solution will be adapting as your problem changes. So what are some of the benefits that we see? The main thing is that we're digitizing documents. Why are we digitizing documents? We're trying to make sure that we capture that intelligence that is stored around your organization that you may have forgotten about or that may be uh, not utilized fully in a digital form. So in that case, what you have to have is with these systems, it removes directly manual interventions. So it really you have automated. You will think that substitute man in human interventions, but it will empower the people to understand and therefore to be more effective. It's a system that continues learn as you have seen, not by magic, but you are you presented with new cases. If you train properly, it will go. You can imagine documents that are feeding in your system. This can be streaming, this can be new documents, or this can be all documents in what is called data remediation. Several of them, they will need conversion because they are images, but others are simply like emails or new PDF files that you can really are machine readable. Once they have passed, one of them they will need OCR, others not. Some of them you will have to end extract information from there, and you will see an example of what we mean by that. Others you will have to classify it. Anyway, once you have already the information of the entities together what are the categories of these documents, you then can feed it either your storage, you can use it to retrieve information because they are already searchable, but inside of the document. Or really, you can put it there for a robotic process automation. So then here is where the story begins on processing of the documents, one you have already understood.